what's the going on myself I'm just talking to myself so I wanted to address something because recently I have just put out some videos and I, I felt a little bit like a billboard for shark teeth and, and health foods and <laughs> and I wanted to be clear you know like yes I'm advertising yes I'm learning how to market on the internet but what exactly is going on there so we've been going to that beach market the past few weeks just to hang out meet people hang by the beach talk with people share some information I had the shark teeth there those are all teeth that I found out with Venice Dive Center we were just out this morning beautiful day awesome day and with a bunch of awesome new people to diving and to hunting found some great teeth so that's amazing I have this surplus of teeth so I've been selling them off at the market and on Instagram whatever you know if people like them they like them if not whatever you know I, I like these Makos a lot uh, I just have way too many and I don't like to really hoard things I like to be kind of a minimalist so I'd rather have someone else have them so I use their you know their price to sell which is you know I would love to upcharge people and get all the money in the world but you know I don't want to do that so yeah I've been selling those talking about scuba diving talking about fossil hunting but then there's this health element that we're bringing into it that I'm bringing into it that we're bringing into it my team and I, my partner, partners, the lady partner. Uh, so, like today, we went out on the boat. I brought watermelon for everybody. I shared it on the way back from the dive. I got back to land. You know, I had brought my own water. I got back to land and I hit some super aminos. So just these vegan amino acids. Now I'm hitting this power shake. it is one o'clock now I had to leave the house at 6 10 a.m. so I got breakfast in some quinoa a little bit more fruit and I'm not gonna be home until at least two o'clock so uh, like honestly obviously I would get hungry what are my options well I'm right here at Wawa I'm talking about this all the time I'm right here and again I'm not trying to knock anyone how they eat or any kind of business you know anything like that to get too hot. But for me personally, like uh, the quick answer, my stomach starts rumbling. The quick answer, I go into Wawa, I get some peanuts, a sandwich, mm, bananas, maybe. You know what I mean? Like there are good options, and then there's other options. But there's just a lot going on, and I just, I have really big visions for myself and what I'm capable of, and I can't achieve those in a year or two. So I need to go for the long haul, which means I need this body to work for the long haul. I don't know about you, but I've seen a lot of people, when they hit their 30s, their 40s, their 50s, their 60s, and they tell me, you're gonna go. What I don't think they realized is that when they weren't caring about their health and their fitness and how, how their life works when they were young, I was. I was super immature for a while. Now it's a different story. So I need the body to work for the long haul. So I care about what's going on. I'm building for longevity. Yes, these things are good. They're okay. They're not that bad. But they, they throw me off track. I can feel it. I can see it. And I can see it long term. It just throws me off track and I don't want to be thrown off track. So this is nutrients. I was really blown away when I was taking these nutrients, like eating and not eating and feeling hungry and not feeling hungry and, and understanding the emotional connection. What I mean by that is that for a period of time, I fasted for 10 days. I didn't experience hunger in my stomach once. 
yes, mentally, I was like, dude, I am so hungry. I want to eat food. I want to eat food. I want to eat food. I'm thinking about food. But physically, yeah, I was weakened. I was not, you know, up and at them. I was, I was mellow. I was chilling at home. But I didn't feel hungry. My stomach never rumbled once. It was amazing. But, to be fair, that fast was accompanied by the shake, these aminos, some cherry juice to help me sleep. And I was also flushing out all kinds of parasites, pesticides, herbicides, toxins out of my body. So, I don't know. There's some science there. So we're bringing health into the diving. We're bringing diving into health. You know, you get healthy enough, you get bored with what's going on, you take it to the next level. You go underwater and you breathe and you swim and you go scuba dive. Awesome. Or maybe you're already scuba diving because you jumped into it. Maybe you're having a hard time. You're missing a piece to get your, your day fun. There's no gauge with scuba diving. So the barometer is really just like, are you having fun? Because it's a lot for a lot of people, it's recreational scuba diving. So it's like, are you having fun? Yes. Cool. You're doing it right. Are you not having fun? Well, then there's something going on. Maybe you know you feel out of your element. You need a little bit more training. Maybe you're not feeling up to it physically. Because there were days that I was not feeling up to it physically. It's it's exhausting. It's it's a lot of work. Uh, no thoughts. That's up to other people. I don't really... Uh... <laughs> Not to play Swiss here, but I don't really care. It hasn't affected my life in one way or another. No one's asked me to get it, not to get it. So, maybe that missing piece is the nutrition. Maybe it's the physicality of what you're doing, but there are ways that we can improve that too. So, that's what I'm doing. It's a holistic company. I think diving is a holistic affair, although not everybody thinks so. So, I am looking at all these things. Health, wealth, vitality, fun, in a holistic manner. And I want them all connected. Yes, I'm a distributor for this company. No, I'm not going to force you to buy something. I don't rock with how a lot of marketing is done on Instagram, as you might have known. Maybe I fit into it, maybe I don't. I don't know. That's based off your perception, and that's up to you. Leave it to yourself. But what I like to do is educate people on why quality nutrients are important, why our current food system is messed up and producing a lot of waste, and it's also producing a lot of food that lacks nutrients and it's kind of just the shell of food maybe you believe me maybe you don't but ask yourself how you feel and the community of people i'm working with they're actual people working on healing not this current sick care system that's just very frustrating for a lot of people it's a total bummer so want all beings to be happy. <laughs> what makes me happy is the ocean, and the best way for me to experience the ocean is diving. Not always scuba diving, though. people don't get that. People don't understand my love for free diving. You could hold your breath and go dive under the water. It's amazing. There's no equipment. driving. Does that make all make sense? 